Hey YouTubers, this is Brian with uh, High Desert Gun Dogs. Uh, I wanted to make a video. I've been absent lately, so I apologize for that. Uh, I've been busy with work. We just got off the upland season, busy doing that, and uh, now I'm ready to do some gear reviews of stuff I've been using. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, today, I want to talk about upland clothing. The clothing we got today is phenomenal compared to way back when our dads and grandfathers were hunting, you know, they were hunting in blue jeans and a flannel shirt, you know, and now we got so many options. So what I want to talk about right now is, you know, when I started, I was in jeans, you know, denim jeans, and uh, I'm sure some of you are doing that too and have done it. And it's great for anything, other than perfect weather, you know, uh, they get wet, it's horrible, it's miserable, they're heavy, um, they do offer you great protection, but that's about it. So what I got for you is two pairs of pants that I've been using. You know, when I got done with my jeans, I bought these, they're Wrangler Outdoor. And if you don't know about these, um, great pant you can get at walmart sometimes tractor supply carries them they're like 35 bucks or less they might even be 30. um you know they're a, a polyester or actually a nylon these are nylon pants so they're pretty much waterproof um they're lightweight super lightweight um and pretty durable you know They've got a lot of pockets on them, just like a pair of uh, carpenter jeans almost. I don't know if you can see that. You got, uh, you know, your two front pockets on each side, and you've got this pocket on your hip or your thigh would be really, um, you know, I wouldn't put much in there that I didn't want to lose because it doesn't really seal very well, but um, a rear pocket for your wallet if you carry that way. I always carry mine in the front. Um, the zippers, I haven't had no problems with these pants, you know, they, they last pretty good. Um, if you get even a year out of them, so what? Go buy another pair, you know? But they're really comfortable and lightweight and they're waterproof. That's the most important thing you need. Um, the cuffs haven't worn, they're kind of reinforced on the bottom, which is a problem with, you know, dragging on rocks and through brush, you know, so they're, they're pretty sturdy for the price. It's a great option if you don't want to wear jeans in the morning, you don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, the other ones that I've been using, and I only have one pair of these, because they're, they're expensive. But these are uh, Pike gear. Okay, these are the Tongas pants. Okay, and the guy, makes these in the USA, I think he's in Minnesota, or Michigan, Michigan he's in. And he is a, a bird hunter, just like us, every week, every time he can go out, he's going out. He's got, like I said, this is the Tongas line, and it's kind of made for moderate weather, moderate to cooler weather. They have the uh, Kiowa, which is their summertime, early season, bird pant it's a much lighter weight not as durable but it's it's you know as far as walking through brush i text him on facebook and I said hey what do you recommend for chuck and hunter he told me the tongas pants i've had these for two years okay love them they've got this kind of reinforced knee here and it kind of moves i don't know if you can see that stitching okay every four corners are stitched and it, it kind of moves with your knee you know it's like you don't even not even wear pants I don't know how to explain it um, the cuffs are in great shape I have I've been wearing these for two years but they've got a, a inner membrane on them these are almost he doesn't claim they're waterproof but I'm gonna say they're waterproof unless you get the uppers wet if you get the uppers wet they're not waterproof but down here where the nylon is, I haven't had any issues with anything seeping through. Um, I haven't been cold. You know, I wear a, a layer system, you know, some 
nylon long john, polyester long johns, and it haven't been cold. I've been, we went to Nevada this year, we were in nine degree weather. You know, as long as you're moving, you're not cold, right? But if you're sitting, you're gonna be cold, but um, I wore these. Um, the only downfall of these, and maybe it's not a downfall, but there's not a lot of pockets. You got the, the two fronts, but they're nice and deep, they're big. You can carry a lot of stuff in, in both of these pockets. And the rear, you've got a spot for your uh, wallet. You know, it's a zippered rear, so that's nice. Um, and it's pretty deep too. I can fit my whole hand in there. You can fit your wallet or whatever you want to carry in there. Zip it up. Don't have to worry about a fawn out. I usually don't carry nothing there because if I sit down, it bugs me. So, unless it's real thin. But I might carry something in my, my hunting license, but usually I carry that in my game bag. So, um, but yeah, these are really, they, they are uh, pretty durable. Now I had, when I first got them, I don't even know if I could find it, but there is a tear here and it's right here. I'm going to pull the camera off and, and kind of show you that. Um, if you can see, uh, it's harder than it looks here. <laughs> um, there is a little tear there. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Right there. Now it hasn't grown any, okay? Uh, that happened on the, I think it was on the second trip I took out with these things, that happened. Uh, I was walking through some heavy brush that I shouldn't have been, but I had no option, right? So walking through that and got a stick that went right through it, made my leg bleed and everything, but that tear hasn't grown any in two years. That's the cool thing. So obviously it wouldn't be waterproof there no more. I don't, <laughs> and I don't know how to sew, so I can't fix it. Um, excuse me, I get some coffee. But uh, these pants are, do they just kind of move with your body? It's weird, it's like magic. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but they have a lot of gear, they have vests. I'm thinking about getting their, their sleeveless vest just for upper body, you're keeping your core warm. I usually just wear a sweatshirt like this or um, a lightweight flannel or something, but it'd be nice to have that arm movement, you know, when you're, you know, shooting. Uh, but anyways, that that's a great option. There's also other options. I don't have any experience with like Sitka, um, Kuyu, I, I think that's how you say it. There's a lot of great options. Uh, LL Bean, this is just what I have experience with, the Wranglers and this pipe gear. You know, I contacted the guy, Brent, on Facebook. Bam, he got back to me in an hour. He said, oh, you want the Converse for what you do? And I tried them out, love them. So if you're unsure of which ones you want, you know, if you're hunting in the summertime or early season, I've used these and I don't get hot, you know, hotter than normal at least. Maybe the, the Kiowa will be better for me, but I just haven't tried them, you know. Um, but, these things, and they're, the, the other cool thing about them, you you wear a 34, you buy a 34, right? They fit you. They're not they're not weird size. You know, sometimes you buy pants, you're like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna fit me. They fit, and they got room to spare. You see how they stretch out here in the back? You know, they, you got a little, uh, probably a good inch or maybe an inch and a half of stretch if you, you know, get a winter coat on you. But, um, Feel free if you got to order it, order your size and it won't be no issues. Um, they are, um, the inseam can be let out if you have, if you need a longer inseam, in, inseam, but they can't, you know, obviously if, I think these are a 32, they can go to a 34, but I wear a 32, so it's no problem for me. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you that these are like $220. They're not cheap, but I've had them for two years, been abusing the crap out of them, and I love them. I'd buy another one myself. But if you just want, you know, if you're on a budget, man, these Wranglers, you buy yourself two or three pairs of these for less than a hundred bucks, and or, or just one, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter, they're great pants. These are Wrangler Outdoors. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that's what I've been using. Um, I like them, 
and it's you know, you've got your low budget price and you've got your if you want to spend a little more money on yourself and treat yourself get these bikes you know they're nice um the, the other good thing about like sitka brands you can buy you know go to the stores you can go to bass pro you can go to you know a lot of different outdoor places and they have that you could try them on there right pike you can't try them on right unless you're in near the kai right but i'm in california i can't go try on a pair of pikes but you know he assured me hey you don't like them send them back you know within uh, i think it, i don't remember what it was 30 days or something like that it's probably on the website but uh that's what i got for you right now i got a couple more reviews coming up so stay tuned all right thanks out